welcome along to Mondo Chalavet Movies. My name is John and on this video I'm going to show you how to make one of these shells. Now I filmed this over the course of a couple of weeks. I did plan to have this video out a lot sooner than now. I keep going on about work but it's been a very busy month this month and uh, all the footage that I've shot over the past couple of weeks uh, I put together and I'm going to show you, give you a run through from this wall being completely blank over there. The best thing about these shelving is you can customise it to any space that you want to. This space I've got behind me isn't the same space as that one. That space over there is smaller than this one, but you can put the same uh, format up over there, no problem. you just got to follow some simple rules. I'll show you some things I've altered on, on this uh, shelf and also on that shelf to make them a little bit better. I think I made a few sort of mistakes when I did this one. I'll put that right now. The best thing about this thing is you can kind of adjust it as you go, and if you put it up and it's not exactly the way you want it, you can always alter it slightly. And uh, like I say, the cost isn't that much. I think uh, the whole thing on there cost roughly, I would say about £60. That's with the wood and also the uh, the nails, the screws, should I say. And the, um, what's the other thing? The brackets that are put up. So thinking about 60 quid on this one, you're just going to see coming up how to make this one. This one over here is about 70 quid because I had to do a little bit more wood onto it because it's wider, you see. And that one over there is around about uh, 8 foot tall by about five foot wide. And uh, it's, it, I think it holds, I've, I've uh, done a calculation and it holds around 1,240 uh, movies. And also this one here, uh, I think it does about, um, this one does actually about 2,000. So I think around about, I'm hoping to get maybe along the lines of uh, three and a half thousand, four thousand, that's me done. Uh, well, I say that, and I said that about this wall, but I, I cracked on, didn't I? When did, but anyway, that for me, I've got a lot of space in that wall, so I, that's what I wanted space, that's what it's all about, space. So anyway, I'm going to give you the, run you through the footage now, and then uh, hopefully by the end of it, you'll know exactly how to make or recreate one of these things here. Okay, so I've started this on the 22nd of March. I'm not too sure when this video is going to come out, but this is my blank canvas for the wall, for shelf two. Now what I've done is I've taken away the stuff that was on that wall and I put them over here just for the moment but I think they're all going to be going to a good home soon. And uh, yeah, so I've, I'm starting to prep this. Now if you're going to do this yourselves you might have a blank wall that you can just put the stuff onto straight away. Unfortunately I've got to go and paint all this because we've got a different colour paint that's going on the walls. So what I've done is I've just prepped a little bit. As you can see there's a big hole in the paintwork down there because I took off a British Telecom um, thing that was there that had no use or purpose it's been there for 20 years and just sat around and done absolutely nothing so the first thing is to prep the wall as much as you can I will be tidying that up uh, soon uh, but I do want to first of all put three coats or two coats hopefully probably three coats on this wall and that's that prepped in preparation to put the wood up worst job in the world but it's got to be done Ugh. so what I've done is I put the brackets there now you'll notice that this is still it still moves a touch and I put some brackets down at the bottom there. What I've had to do as well, I've had to notch out a bit of wood there because it will not sit flush on the, uh, the skirting board and if I didn't move that then there would have been there wouldn't have been straight straight down here. So I've just got the, the middle one there because I haven't put it up yet because it's still busy. I don't know where it's exactly gonna go. Uh yep, yeah, so done the same with that and the same with that and what I want to do is I'm going to put another one here in the middle uh, I'll just go a bit further out here I'm going to put a, another one probably in the middle there on the, on that side same with this one and that's that secured but what I'm going to do is as well I'm going to put some on the inside probably three even or two and that'll be and probably three on each side and the centre one and that'll be solid. And once you put the these across it and you tie them in with the screws on the, the three posts, it's absolutely rock solid. So um the thing what I want to change on this shelf is what I did find with this one is on shelf one, because when I put the inside brackets on these things here, I've just put them on. Uh you know, they go pretty flush to the wall, but there's still a little bit of bump. So behind that one, for instance, there's ones that are sticking out. Well, it's it can't it can't go in any further, so it sticks out a little bit. So what I'm going to try and do is, when I build the the, uh, the sort of lats up from the floor floor height, 
I'm going to put them on, but I'm going to see where the sort of, see if a, 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 a lot goes here, for instance, I'm going to put the screw directly behind it, or the bracket, because that way the, the uh, DVDs, Blu-rays, whatever, they don't fit, they don't actually hit it, so I'm going to have to put them all on to find out where they are, because I can't really work that out when just by measuring it, because it would be too hard to fathom out where, where it's exactly going to go, because I'm going to make sure that the the shells all go to fit this particular one in because this is the one that's like the the tallest of these ones and i want them to sort of incorporate that size if i need to and um, not that i've got many of that size but always go with your biggest one uh, of the the sort of particular ones you're going to put in this these shells are going to be all blu-rays as far as i know so anyway so yeah so that's where we are at the moment when i put this the middle one up and start to put the the um the sort of lats on i'll come back and we'll go up to the next part so what i've done here is i started to take off those sort of excess bits of wood there and that means that uh this the space here between the cupboard and the uh the shelves will be a nice little um mirror i believe so what i've been doing here is and i'll show you why i've done this i've put some extra brackets on there they are underneath i'll put them on this is going to be along the top of the uh, the top level so when i put things on there i can do it with one hand it means that it's not going to be when i had the other one over there on shelf one there's a few of them that i've got uh, problems where it would hit there and it would kind of be out like that it's just a little bit for cosmetic it's my bit that gets on my nerves anyway so i put them on there to sort of uh and also to make this bit the the top on here able to stand a little bit more uh, of the heavier stuff that's going in there which will be probably the four keys which are on top of there these are going to go over here now and this whole top here and here well obviously in here and here will be four keys now what i'm going to do is with this now is that i'm going to go down and fill and put a few more kind of known behind where they're going to go behind there cut these off and then this one will be as structurally uh, firm as it can i mean it's still solid as a rock but i wanted to get uh, the fact that it could withstand any sort of uh, uh, heavy stuff on it that's me that's where i am at the minute with the uh, shelf too i'm going to start putting the four keys on here because that can work now i've got this on here now i don't want to need to alter these ones um and put some more uh, brackets on here i think i'm going to put three or four more in the house i'll probably have to buy a couple more uh i can start putting the stuff on here from the top and then i can start moving the stuff around here i can have that because i think those arrows that go right that they're going to start to go all the way along there that's my theory and 88s and all that Let's see how we go with that hopefully i'm going to end up with quite a lot of space that's what this uh, exercise is all about getting a bit of space on go so that's where we're at, at the minute so you could see that is more or less it finished to a certain extent i'm going to clean up those bits of wood uh, from that side of the uh, the excess uh but bits of wood there from the lats now the reason why I haven't done that is because it's a bit of a two-man job. It's because it's not hard to do. It's just you need somebody to hold the, the length of the wood because it's that long while you trim the, trim the end off. So because me and the Debs haven't really had any time off this month together. So it's a two-man job and I've needed the Debs with us to kind of be be that extra person. Because it's it's a hard thing to put up this, this stuff without uh, two people here initially. And then you can crack on yourself. I mean, the, the other shells I've done. Uh, i've cracked on with it now if i can flip over to shelf one i know i'm calling it shelf one and it's like shelves one which deborah keeps pointing out to me but anyway what i've done is i've now took i've done what i said i was going to do i put i've done the arrows up there and then i've done 88 there actually no arrow eureka bfi a few other things and then uh 88 are going all the way along there now what I'm going to do with that is I'm not that's not really the finished article, but
but that's what I've done for the moment. Obviously, I'll create myself some little space there. Uh, I've have got some DVDs to put back in that bit there. If I can get me, yes, that bit there. DVDs will not go on the shelf. I've, I've made the shelf not ready to fit uh, DVDs. So I'm a bit of a double negative there. But uh, what I'm going to do is as well, I've got some cardboard there at the bottom. I haven't put a bottom shelf like I have on this one. So that means I can just put some uh, bit of uh, hardboard there when I get some. I think I've got some in the uh, in the garage, and I'm going to cut some just for them the, these uh, discs to lie on. What I haven't done is I put there's a few there's a four K like there, there's a couple of four Ks there at the moment. I'm not going to put them up the top, especially like the likes of the 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 guest because. If I put them up the top, the, the the weight on them is just tremendous, and I think that's the thing that could like literally peel that away from the wall because it happened over here. On this one, this one started to come away from the wall. Uh, it didn't go very far, but I knew it was, so I had to put some more braces in there. So what I'm going to do with this one is as well, since I've got some uh, way to do it, I'm going to put a few more brackets in, which will uh, strengthen this one up. But though this one's there's nothing the matter with this one, it just. I just want to get it a little bit more uh, fixed and obviously all the brackets I'm going to do are going to go back here behind there so I know it's not going to bump into anything. So really what I'm doing is sort of just, um, ah yes that's what I had to tell you about this one is because, where is it, yeah the legs of this one, this one here is a little bit higher, these ones are a little bit higher. They wouldn't fit in any of these shelves because I just put them in for armory cases so I had no space. And I wanted to put me 88 films there. So, and this one here, Killer Crocodile, had to be, uh, what's it called? It had to be accommodated. So what I had to do was, unfortunately, I had to go from, yeah, this one here. And I had to move them up just a touch. I mean, we're talking fractions. Uh, so that was, that was a, quite a bit of a, a pain in the neck, if I'm honest. But I've done it now. It means I can put any size of any, um, there's only a couple of millimetres. So I put any size of anything into that particular uh, shelf if I wanted to. This shelf will get mainly, I've put, I can put the Killer Crocodile in any of the shelves. That's how I've, uh, this is probably me, the biggest one. So this can go anywhere I wanted to. He says, what, what happens if it didn't fit? So yeah, so that's a little bit of saying that this, these shelves now will, the only thing that won't accommodate over that one is DVDs, but I've got a certain section there. Four DVDs, which is down the bottom. The bottom three will take DVDs. I'm going to leave them bigger ones down there because for the weight as well as the fact that they are quite colossal. And uh, there's a few things that Deborah's there that's they're going to go. I'll just put them on there just to get them off the other shelves we had here. Bit of a Jenga sort of thing here. So this uh, this thing here, if I can go back a bit, don't know if I can sort of get them both in. But it, yeah, it's I've got a I've got a feeling that most of this will be space. But I'm gonna get some. Say so I've got like I can fill gaps in there. There's my hammer stuff, so I know that the hammer thing can go along there rather than having them right next to each other. I can I've got space for them. And the, these ones here, they're all over the place. These the horror. That's why I did my horror thing the other day, so I knew that would never be the same again. This is gonna get started broken up into more. Uh, it means more in a bit in a better place. There's some stuff I got off there. Uh, for John, I don't know if you've seen that video yet, and uh, yeah, so these are all the stuff that they're all going to go all over the place. I don't know that stuff there. I think it's probably going to stay there. It might not stay there. The heavy stuff, I would say, always put on the bottom because it's amazing how much weight can go on the top there. That's where my four keys are, as you can see. And when they go on the top, you can really start to peel it off the wall. But I'm going to put, I put. The braces in there are the brackets there behind there as well. I'm going to put another couple. I'm going to take when I take these off and cut them. I'm going to put another couple of brackets in, maybe four more here. I'll, I'll, I'll make that more solid, although it is solid. Then I'm going to put a couple more on the side here. I've only got one on the outside there and one on the outside here. The rest of them are all going to go on the inside, but behind this. Um, so it hides behind there and it doesn't push any of the the, uh, the discs out, which is the thing that really, well, it kind of annoyed us about this one. Whereas it, it still does it a bit there, as you can see, but it is what it is. And nobody else in the right mind is going to come and go, hang on a minute, what's all that about? 
you know so this is uh it's been it's been a long time getting this video done the only reason that is because it's just because of shifts done a lot of shifts this month but thankfully that is now behind me and uh, i can move on and get back into getting there uh, the tv one is going to be coming up but have a bit of patience with that because i'm still sussing it out because i had planned to uh, do a lot of deep diving into the tv but to be honest i haven't had the time so i haven't really put myself through that that strain or stress and uh, what i'll do is as well i'm going to measure these up the measurements for these spans are around about the sort of 80 to 85 mark i would say don't go any higher than this because if you do you're in a risk of um being too too wide and then what happen is they start to bow in the middle and then when you, you can see it a mile off when they start to bow and um, so i would say just try and keep them around about the 80 85 max i would say and then you haven't really got a problem with it because if you span it too much see i could have done them two ones there i could have put like one on either side didn't put the middle brace in and then span them the whole way across because the whole thing is eight uh, feet long so the the sort of lats so the lats will um they would have took that but they would have bored massively in the middle because they just haven't got the weight to keep the weight of these things it's quite a lot of weight in there so you need that middle brace in so never take it more than 85 ish for that uh for, the, for when you put a post in from post to post so these poles from b and q are eight feet long that's how they come and if you can get them in the car i urge you to get eight foot and then you've got the whole the whole room that you can do a half half size but you can also do the full thing because um to be honest i i wanted this full size i still can't believe the devs uh, agree to this but i'm not saying out so this uh this one here this post is if i can get that it's just about one inch thick is about th is three and a half inches deep now it's very important that you have them because i bought some when i first do me for my other shelf i bought them and they weren't that deep they were like that but they weren't they were either too deep or they were too or they, they were too deep or they were not enough deep if that's a thing then what happened was these these ones didn't lie properly they were falling off and um, they were falling forward like that so these um these things would have been uh they just didn't lie properly so i had to go and get some more um some more posts so yes yeah, so this i'll do it here so your post here is about three and a half i think it's a standard post don't get them too thick as well they don't need to be any thicker than what they are so three and a half um three and a half ish so i'm swapping over the centimeters for this i think that's around about one centimeter deep it needs to be this deep but it doesn't need to be much more deeper than that if i'm honest i think anything more than that is overkill now this way is going to be i can find it where is it there you go this is three centimeters deep uh, and i think that's good enough for it's it's quite flimsy but when it's when it's braced like this it's not flimsy but then again don't go too far with a span because if you do too far with a the span then it it will bore it will sort of uh sort of move around it will distort so hopefully that's going to give you a bit of an idea on what to sort of expect when you do this and obviously the rest of this room now has got to be painted it's got to be the cupboards have got to be out a little bit because they're not exactly flush they need to be sorted out and their uh, doors are painted glossed all that type of thing so yeah it's on its it's on its way around get a new light socket there and this this will air uh, a, a little air uh, uh, mirror there as well apart from these gigantic wall of blu-rays i think this room looks pretty neat and tidy so i hope that's helped out i'm going to do a follow-up to this video i don't know when yet uh, and i'm going to go and show you exactly how this one ended up i'm going to show you um the full thing i'll do a full room tour i want to get all of this stuff painted before i do that and uh, you can see exactly what this room looks like as a finished article so thanks for watching you take care and i will see you on the next video cheers